Hello, ladies and gentle vims. It's me, your hostess with the grossest, Carla Rossi. And here at Tales from Queer Horror, we... Well, we live in a dumpster. But we're also dumpster diving through my favorite pre-shows at Queer Horror, the country's only LGBTQ horror screening series at Portland's historic Hollywood theater. Picture it. America, 2019. We were once so young, so innocent, so secretly racist and unskilled in the ways of video conferencing and sourdough starters. You see, while 2019 feels like 500 years ago, it was a simpler time. One in which our primary worries consisted of getting an orange Cheeto out of the White House and not also running in terror from the air. Now, I know what you must be saying, but Carla, you're the ghost of white privilege, and that's hilarious because white privilege will never die. We thought you loved the orange Cheeto. Well, I thought so too, until he had me 86 from Mar-a-Lago thanks to an unfortunate incident involving Mike Pence and a corn dog. So if tonight's presentation feels uncouth to you, because, spoiler alert, we set Joe Biden on fire in this, let me remind you that back in the early Democratic debates of 2019, we had a cornucopia of so many qualified candidates to choose from. Candidates like Elizabeth Warren, or Elizabeth Warren, or also Elizabeth Warren, or her grandmother, Elizabeth cancels student debt. Listen, I admit it. I had a Warren 2020 dream catcher. I, I kept it on my rear view mirror for when I'd fall asleep at the wheel. So consider tonight's tale a throwback to the days when we had so many qualified candidates and also Joe Biden. Hell, we had the gay one, uh, angry grandpa, Miss Prison Industrial Complex, and Political Inya. And who could ever forget Cory Booker? <whistles> anyway, I call this tale from queer horror the Great Prom Queen Debate. And like a fine wine and cheese, we paired it with a screening of horny Canadian classic Hello Mary Lou Prom Night 2. Because what every election truly needs is a killer prom queen to even the playing field, or sometimes a gymnasium. So without further ado, Mr. Mipples, run the projector and enjoy the great prom queen debate. <laughs> Queer Horror is filmed in front of a live studio audience. For the 2019 Prom Queen Nationals, she's back from the grave and ready for that tiara. Please welcome Mary Lou Maloney. Yeah. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Suck a dick. And up next, she lit a fire in all of our hearts at Bates High. Give it up for Carrie White. Mama, can you hear me? Mama, can you see me? Mama, can you find me in the night? Okay. And last but not least, please welcome new age self-help guru and somehow presidential candidate, Miss Mary Ann Williamson. <laughs> Earthlings, I mean my fellow Americans, of whom I am one, and not from Mars. Let, let's start by talking policy. Um, what will you be bringing to your people as prom queen? As prom queen, I, Mary Lou Maloney, plan to do terrible things. I'll disobey my parents, I'll take the Lord's name in vain, I'll have sinful relations with boys, and I'll enjoy every second of it. As prom queen, I will vow to cover up my dirty pillows and I will do my bestest not to burn down the school again. As prom queen, I will enact a policy of love, love and clean water, and Flint, Michigan, also crystals. I will work with Doc Brown to reduce carbon emissions and together we will harness the power of babies' laughter to create and sustain a new clean energy initiative. Thank you. Um, wait, did you just reference Back to the Future and Monsters, Inc.? Shut up! Mama said TV is the devil's playground. That's in your front basement. First comes the blood. Then comes the Netflix and chill. Now is the time to heed the timeless advice from Teddy Roosevelt. Speak softly and carry a big stick. End of quote. I promise you, the president has a big stick. What the fuck is Joe Biden doing here? Um, we can't get him to leave. If you agree with me, go to Joe 30330 and help me in this fight. Mama, please forgive me! Mama, I'm trying not to start a mommy that you see. I had no joy! Harry, can you please stop levitating Joe Biden? And cut out the Barbara Streisand bullshit! We choose truth over facts. All right, I see you, Mr. Biden, and I raise you this. When I am elected prom queen, I will look out for the most impoverished in the country, and I will place copies of my book, A Return to Love, in every school student's desk and locker here in America. Yes, um, thank you. Miss, Miss Williams. Furthermore, I will call the mayor of Candyland, and I will say, girlfriend, you're so on. Miss Williamson. And as last but not least, I will reach out and I will avenge those brave souls lost in the tragedy at Jurassic World. Yes, yes. I will set up and establish Isla Sorna and Isla Nublar as a protected wildlife refuge. In Mary Ann Williamson's America, no brontosaurus will be left behind. It's a large, very identifiable Somali community. I might add, if you ever come to the train station with me, you'll notice that uh, I have great relations with them because there's an awful lot of driving cabs. Nobody asked you. I wish I killed him instead of my whole gym teacher. Well, while we're on the topic of problematics, um, Miss Williamson, what do you have to say to those who have brought attention to your beliefs that HIV AIDS could be cured through harnessing the power of prayer? Um, yes, I, I do have an answer for your question, but I believe Mr. Biden had to first violate my space and interrupt You me. cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. There you have it, and with that, Mr. Biden, I call for reparations. Oh, she's good. She's like the anti-Trump. She's white Oprah. Yeah, and you dumbasses can't get enough of it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. What the? Oh. 
I can't believe I'm saying this, but for God's sake, Biden, plug it up. Why the fuck is he still here? And we don't like being told to smile. Some of us have worked hard for these scowls. And we don't like being touched either. Okay, speak for yourself on that one. <laughs> sisters, sisters, it is clear that we have arrived at an impasse, a blockage of love and universal energy. And the only way to clear this cosmic coronary is to excise the violating party altogether. Or oh, we could set them on fire. Oh, let's do that one. Yeah, okay, well, Mr. Biden, you have betrayed the trust of the people who place their trust in you and who have trusted in you, conversely. And Mr. Biden, the time for vengeance for your folly by fire, by flame, is, is now! Mama and I used to pick flowers just like this one and throw them away. Mama said foliage is a sin. Uh, that's not the effort I was thinking of. Fuck. Mr. Biden, three queens stand before you. The Queen of Bates High. The Queen of Hamilton High. And I'm the May Queen. And now is the time for harvest. <laughs> see 2019 was a very different time and then Biden didn't just get nominated no he went and won the election which in retrospect has made setting him on fire just a little complicated for one I've got to glue all his ashes back together and done look at him now <laughs> all grown up and ready to lose 2024 and that post-fire facial reconstruction wow you know <laughs> i make a point never to talk about the work a woman's had done but did biden's doctor knock it out of the park or what huh talk about snatched you can almost hear his nose blink is it just me or does he kind of look like Karen Huger. Huh. Oh, my cell phone. And my Twitter's been deleted. And we've lost all of our funding. <laughs> well, now that I've wronged innocent people and become publicly disgraced, there's only one thing left for me to do. <laughs> Run for president. Mr. Miffles, activate the Patriot Act. Hmm. No tax 
taxation without representation. Protect the right to arm bears. Put the quesarito back on the drive through menu. I'm Carla Rossi, and I approve this message. America, I'll see you at the polls. And until next time, I'm yours, Ghoulie. <sighs>